Well, it's been very fine to see you, great Aunt Marigold. I'm having pills with it, sir. Good one. <laughs> really? She's got a TV. And I've been meaning to fix that broken television for you, Auntie. So we'll show ourselves out. No, don't get up. No, don't get up. I won't hear of it. Don't get up, or we'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> In a city gripped by fear and greed, on streets greased with blood and tears, who is left to look out for the little guy and see if he's got any money on him? Yes, it's the surprising adventures of me, Sir Digby Chicken Caesar. <laughs> Completely lifelike. Is that the point? <laughs> The story so far, I've successfully couriered the top secret machinery back to its rightful owners of the heart of government. You must die at my club sometime. <laughs> but now my thoughts inevitably turn to my trusty companion, Ginger, who is not so lucky at the hands of our pursuers. I'm pissing blood again. You still lost the bloody tally, didn't you? I've got the remote. We can melt the batteries down and drink it. Excellent. We can borrow a Bunsen from my old school. Oh, no, sir. Let's not get electronically tagged again. Nonsense. <laughs> dun, 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 Having infiltrated my old school, how will my nemesis strike next? Hoovering up all the gutter change with so-called street sweepers? More of that sort of bench that you can't lie flat on? Find out next week in The Surprising Adventures of Sir Digby Chicken Caesar. I think we got the makings of Crystal Meth here, sir. It's going to be an Easter week. Weekend to remember! <laughs> 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 <laughs>